Hi guys, Stephen Hyde from CannondaleCyclocrossWorld.com. I'm here to show you how I make some of my favorite ride food. Um, as a professional athlete, I have a nutrition sponsor and they give us a lot of product throughout the year. However, sometimes you don't have those things on hand. Sometimes um, I just don't want to eat that for the millionth time on that ride. Um, it's great to have variety, especially for me. I like eating weird foods. I like eating good food. Um, and I don't necessarily need to eat the same thing every day. I'd like to show you one of my favorites, the King Hawaiian Roll. These are about $1.75 for a four pack. They're a little bit sweet. You can get them in like a bleached white or you can get them in a, a whole wheat. Who knows how whole they are? Uh, but they're a little bit sweet. They're very um, soft when taken right out of the package. You have definitely had some of these at your Thanksgiving meal. But they're cheap, they're sweet, they're easy to eat, and they're easy to wrap up. I'm gonna show you the super simple peanut butter, jelly, Hawaiian sweet roll sandwich. We have our rolls. Very satisfying. You can break them out. Depending on how long you're gonna ride for, most people eat for endurance rides, one to two bars per hour on their ride. Usual bar is somewhere around like 35 grams of carbohydrates per bar, um, per gel, uh, etc. cetera. So that, that's a basic recommended um, carbohydrate intake on an endurance ride um, for, for cycling in general. Um, so I'm gonna take my rolls, split them up into serving size, which is a single. You can either cut it with a knife or you can split it by hand. I'm gonna do the old butter knife. I like to keep it intact if I can. So it's a little less messy that way. First thing I do is I squish it down. <laughs> they're really fluffy and they're gonna come back up. They're like little sponges. So I like to squish them down so they'll pack a little bit better and so that when I put all the materials on it, um, they don't just slide around a whole bunch. Next thing, peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, sunflower butter, whatever you like. Uh, sugar, no sugar. This is Adam's 100% natural crunchy peanut butter. Um, it's got very little ingredients in it. It's got 1% or less of salt. That's it. So peanuts and salt. Um, we love salt. We love fat. We love protein. A little bit of carbohydrates in it. Um, serving size on these is uh, two tablespoons. So I'm just going to use one. Just a little on the bottom side. Next, I'm gonna go jam. I like to spice it up. I like to have as many jams on hand as possible. I'm a bit of a jam connoisseur. Uh, this is a Santa Cruz organic mango. Um, it's about three bucks. This is kind of on the high end of jam, I think. Um, usually runs three, four, five bucks, right? We all know how much a peanut butter and jelly sandwich costs. So you can go cheap, you can go high grade, whatever you want. It's sugar, that's what we're adding. So. Again, I'm gonna go half serving on this. I'm gonna add it to the top. You can add it on top of the peanut butter if you want. I don't recommend it. Then close it up. If you wanna add banana to it, if you wanna put, uh, I don't know, anything else. You wanna put a drizzle of honey or anything like that. The world is your oyster or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can do anything you want. So close it up, squish it down a little bit. How do you get it in your pocket? without making a total mess. So, you don't need a ton. Lay it out here. I like to cover it in the center. Roll it back just over the edge. Flatten that out. Bring it over. Roll it back again. And this just makes a nice little lip that you can grab it uh, while you're riding. Um, it just, it's a, you know, you got gloves on, you got whatever you're riding, you're not even looking at it, you got your other hand on the bar. Um, this, just rolling it up a little bit would give you a nice grip. Uh, flattening it out. And then you can either go scratch style and roll it over like that, or just roll it flat if you wanna go flat. 
doesn't really matter. It's aluminum foil, it's just gonna stay. Um, and that's it. You have ride food. So, an ordinary bar, like this Scratch Labs bar here, um, this is the sweet and salty uh, raspberry and lemons. If you look at the nutrition content, it's 228 uh, calories per bar, and that's pretty common. 220 to 250 uh, is in the range of calories for most bars. This one has 33 grams of carbohydrates, which is also in that range. That's the basic like 30 to 40 grams of carbohydrates is what you're gonna see amongst Scratch or Cliff Bar or you know whatever you pick up from the grocery store. We're gonna look at the total fat on this bar itself is nine grams and the total protein is four grams. So both pretty low in fat, pretty low in protein and pretty high in carbohydrate. So if you're looking at this as a meal, yes, those things are very low, but if you look at a four hour ride, we're eating two of these per, per hour, that adds up pretty quickly and you see that protein and fat content go up really high. Now, when you look at a sandwich like this or a peanut butter jelly sandwich, a roll, the roll itself is 100 calories, 16 grams of carbohydrates, 2.5 grams of fat, three grams of protein. The peanut butter at a half serving is 95 uh, calories, seven grams of carbohydrates, 16 grams of fat, eight grams of protein. The jam at a half serving is 40 calories, uh, 10 grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of fat, and zero grams of protein. The total for that comes out to a roll at 235 calories, 33 grams of carbohydrates, uh, 18.5 grams of fat, and 11 grams of protein. So obviously fat and protein are much higher in these, so if you're conscious of that, I personally don't think that you can have enough protein and fat as a athlete. However, it's not going to be fuel for your ride. Carbohydrates are your main focus on that. Um, so they can add up pretty quickly. If you are fat or, carb or protein conscious, you may just supplement uh, one for every other bar or something like that, um, or switch it up. Maybe even take some of the, a little bit of the peanut butter out. Yeah, you have a great meal, great little snack.